Hello on the daily. Welcome back to the show. Happy Friday. I am reporting to you once again from my very empty, very uh, hollow office. So I'm hoping I don't sound like I am um, like in a long hallway when I'm recording this episode. Um, okay. So today, listen, y'all, we have a new uh, full moon coming, full moon in Leo happening this Sunday. And this full moon is, Leo is all about like perseverance. It's all about like, uh, big shifts. It's all about, you know, if you think about the lion, right, the Leo is the sign of the lion. So if you think about the lion, right, like what does the lion signify? Like it's big energy, it's powerful energy. It's like a lot of action. So if that is, if you're feeling this like pull for action, this full moon is telling you that it's a really good time to do that. So um, I urge you to look into the full moon in Leo to really see what it, uh, you know, what it could mean for you. Okay. So three pieces of content. I've been getting this question a lot from my clients lately. Like I'm not really feeling like motivated to post, but I know that it posting is like growing my business. And I'm like, yeah, man, you really should be posting every single day. And so what I'm going to talk about today is like three pieces of content that you could post today. If you are feeling stuck and you really just want to like you know, make it happen for yourself. Um, and then, you know, not have to worry so much about being super profound, um, or like, you know, not have to come up with something crazy because I get it. Like we don't always want to post content, but if you are building a business, it is important that you're consistent on social media. And I'm not saying you have to post every single day, but if you are trying to build your presence, the more you post, the more you build your presence. So here are three ideas for content that you could post today. That is super simple. Number one, repurposing content. Okay. This is like tried and true. It's like, I call it like my old trusty, like it is the thing that will work every single time. Okay. Every single time. If you go back, go back like a month, go back three months, go back four months, look at your captions, okay? If you are a caption writer or you've written like good stuff in your captions that's like different from what's in the reel itself, go back and read the caption, take that caption and repurpose it into actual feed content. So maybe that's a carousel. Maybe it's a dancing reel where you like point out different things. Maybe it's a voiceover where you're just talking to the camera and you're basically saying you're repurposing exactly what was in your caption, but you're now making it a new piece of content. Okay. That is gold. It works every single time and it's your content. So you should repurpose it as many times. I go back through my captions all the time and I'm always like, man, that caption was so good. Why don't I repurpose that. So repurposing your content, repurposing your captions as new content. Oh my gosh. So good. So, so, so good. And it will work and it's, it's valuable information, right? So everything I post, I'm always like, is this adding value or is it entertaining? Cause I believe in both. I do post entertainment. I also add value and I add educate, I do educational posts, but everything I post will either be entertaining or educational and it will add value in some way. And so my captions do that really well. And so I will often go back and just pick a caption and repurpose it as new content. Okay. So number two is I write down, I have a note in my phone that's like lessons I'm learning. And every day, if something happens or I learn a new lesson, I'll just like jot it in there and it doesn't make any sense. There's no rhyme or reason. It's not numbered. It's literally just like idea points. And so if I'm ever like, <laughs> If I'm ever feeling lost, if I'm ever feeling like, oh, I don't know what to post, I don't know, you know, what to say, I'll kind of go through that list and be like, oh, well, yeah, that's a lesson I learned, and then I'll create content out of it. So creating notes in your phone for different things. So if you are, you know, if you're like trying to track, you could do the same thing if you're like tracking how much you make. You could literally like have a note for like every month what you've made. So you can go back and be like, wow, okay, here's the growth that I had. Now I can make a post about this and I can explain it from a different perspective. Um, but what I do is like lessons I'm learning and then I share it as content. So that's an idea. And then number three, if you're feeling lost and you're just like, I don't know what to post today, but I know I need to post something, uh, just post a quote, shareable, clickable, savable content. So re regardless of what your business is, I'm sure you've said something. I'm sure you have like a term. I'm sure you have like a word. I'm sure you have like a thing. 
post it. Just post a quote. It doesn't have to be super long. It can literally just be something that people save, click and share. And in the caption, in your call to action, you can say like, if this resonates, share it. Or don't forget to share, save, comment, like whatever. Um, but that's a really easy piece of content that you can always do. And it's also a really good engagement booster because quotes are typically the ones that people share and save and, you know, will will make sure it'll just help to grow it and more people will, will view your page. Um, and then a little bonus one is to repurpose content you've already made. So if you have a piece of content that was like from six months ago that really did well, you could literally post it the exact same post. You could literally post it in like with no changes, just repost it. Nobody will know, I promise you. And if it did well once, it will probably do well twice. And it'll, it's just, it's you, it's your content. It's what you already posted. So there's no harm in reposting it because Instagram is such a, I mean, social media in general is such a like, instant gratification. So people don't remember what they saw a week ago. People are not remembering what they read on your feed like, you know, six months ago. And even if they do, fine. The one or two people that are like, oh, I think she already posted this, like guaranteed they're not going to care. <laughs> so you can always repurpose content, always. So I hope that was helpful. Short little episode for you today. Just a little, just a little strategic thing that I do with social media to kind of help um, in those moments where you're not feeling super inspired. For me, this is like anytime around my cycle, I really run my business according to my cycle. So on those like coming into the time right before my period, I don't really feel like being creative. I'm kind of shutting down. I'm going into like what I call my energetic winter. And so I use those tactics a lot during that time. And then usually, you know, at when my after my cycle's over and I'm in like my grind season again, then I'm like, my ideas are flowing. So, um, I use these four things all the time. And if you follow me on social media, you probably have not noticed. And that's the point. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I am launching another round of Launch with Power, which is my mastermind for entrepreneurs looking to scale or grow their businesses. We are currently in one right now, and I'm going to kind of run it like a running mastermind after this. So I already have clients that have re-signed that are in it currently that have re-signed for the next like round. And um, there's some really big, really big things happening inside that mastermind. And I think that when we're building businesses or scaling businesses, it's so important to not uh, go alone. And masterminds are such a really beautiful place for that. And like, imagine building a business and only being around people who are doing what you're doing and like have nothing but like the utmost support for you. That's what happens inside of a mastermind and inside of launch with power. The energy is so good. And I really hope that you join us. It'll be 12 weeks starting March 1st. And I have some other offers coming up soon. Um, another mastermind for feminine leadership and personal power. And I think that that's going to be a game changer in the leadership space and the, the personal power and personal leadership space. But if you want information on that, come find me on Instagram at Danielle underscore on the daily. You can always also go to my website, daniellemccleary.com slash courses to see anything on demand, or you can visit the work with me tab to see ways that you can get more into my higher ticket containers and more involved in my world. But I will be back next week with another episode and I love you and I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.